A special reading from the Psalms of our teacher, King David. May his blessing be with us. Amen. Psalms 22. As he prophesied of a prayer that would be made in the future. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? My God, my God, why have you left me? Why are you so far from saving me? So far from the crying of anguish. My God, I crowd out during the day, but you didn't respond by night, but I could find no rest. Nonetheless, you are enthroned as the Holy One. You are the one Israel will praise. And you, our ancestors, chose to put their trust. They trusted and you delivered them. To you they cried out and were rescued. In you they trusted and were not put to shame. But for me, I am nothing more than a worm, not even considered human, scorned by everyone, despised by such people. All who see me mock me. They hurl insults, shaking their heads, saying, He trusts in the Lord. They say, Let the Lord rescue him. Let him deliver him, since he delights in him. Yet you brought me out of the womb. You made me trust in you, even at my mother's breast. From birth, I was cast on you. I was cast on you. From my mother's womb, you've been my God. Do not be far from me, God. For trouble is nearby, and there's no one else to help me. Many bulls surround me. Strong bulls of Bashan encircle me. Like roaring lions that tear their prey, open their mouths wide against me, and poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart has turned into wax, and it's melting inside of me. My mouth is dried up like a potsherd. My tongue is sticking to the roof of my mouth, and you lay me in the dust of death. These dogs surround me, a pack of villains encircle me. They pierce me, my hands and my feet. All my bones are on display. People stare and gloat over me. They divide my clothes among them and cast lots for my garment. But you, Lord, don't be far from me. You are my strength. Come quickly to help. Deliver me from the sword, my precious life, from the power of the dogs. Rescue me from the mouth of the lions and save me from the horns of the wild oxen. For I will declare your name to my people. In the assembly, I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him. All you descendants of Yaakov, honor him. Revere him, all you descendants of Israel. For he has not despised or scorned the suffering of the afflicted one. He has not hidden his face from him, but has listened to his cry for help. From you come the theme of my praise in the great assembly. Before those who fear you, I will fulfill my promises. The poor will eat and be satisfied. Those who seek my God will praise him. May the heart, may their hearts live forever. All the ends of this world will remember and turn to the Lord, and all the families of the nations will bow down to him. For dominion belongs to our master, and he will rule over all the world. All the rich of the earth will feast and worship. All who go down to the dust will fall down before him. Those who cannot keep themselves alive Posterity will serve him. Future generations will be told about our God, and they will proclaim how good he is, declaring to a people yet not even born, he has 